Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to create a flow based on real scenario. Our human resource department wants to send out staff attendance records every month for verification by the employees themselves. Traditionally, the teams has been manually filtering data from an Excel sheet came from a fingerprint machine and then filtering the data for each employee and send them by email. This process is quite tedious, however, with Power Automate, we can simplify and automate this task. In today's tutorial, we will demonstrate how to establish a flow that imports data from an Excel sheet into a Microsoft list using Power Automate. And in the next video, we will go more deeper. We will filter this data for each employee and send out automatically by email. This will fully streamline the process, ensuring efficient, reliable, and timely delivery of attendance records. Stay tuned for more and let's dive in. This is our Excel sheet which came from the fingerprint machine. The first thing we need to do is we have to format this data as a table in order Power Automate can understand it. For this, click anywhere on your data and then click format as table icon and choose any style you like. Then check the box next to my table has a header and click OK. As we see, now our table has a name which is table one. I will leave it as it is, the default name table one. Then save your file anywhere on your OneDrive for business or on SharePoint. Now it is time to create a SharePoint list. For this, open Microsoft lists and click new list. Here we have three choices, blank list, from existing list and from Excel. The name tells their meaning. I click on from Excel icon then choose the excel sheet file which we have prepared for this purpose click on upload as you see the file has been uploaded successfully we have the data and the column names and also we have the table name table one as we had inside the excel sheet and pay attention that the employee id column will be the title name in microsoft list here we can give a new name to our Microsoft list or we can leave it as it is. Below you have to choose the site name where you want to save the list inside it and then click create. Now it is creating our list. Wait for a few seconds until it will finish. As we see the list has been created. Also the data has been imported successfully into it. We have the column names as well and pay attention that only the employee ID became as a title which is not a big deal. Now it is time to create our flow. In MS PowerPoint click on create. Here we choose instant cloud flow as we want to run the flow manually. In the flow name give a mini name to your flow and then choose manually trigger a flow and click create. The first step is to get your MS list. So click on the new step, search for get item from SharePoint and then click on get items. Here we have to choose site address where your list has been saved and then choose the list name from the list. This will retrieve our SharePoint list which we have created earlier. Now the second step is we want to clear out the list each time we run the flow. We want to make sure that the old data has been deleted and only new fresh data is imported to our list. For this, click on new step search for delete item then click on delete item from the SharePoint. Here we have to choose our list name and the ID for it. When we choose the ID from the dynamic content it automatically embed this action into apply to each action in order to apply to each rows in the list. So in order to make my action easier to recognize in the future steps, I will rename my apply to each action to a meaningful name. So I will rename it to delete item from the SharePoint list. Now let's save my flow and run a test to make sure this action will delete everything in my Microsoft list. And as you see, my list has a data in it and then click continue, run the flow. As you see, the flow has run successfully. If I refresh the Microsoft list, 
you see all the data has been deleted now we have an empty microsoft list ready to get new data into it now let's create another step to get the rows from the excel sheet click on the new step and search for the list rows present in a table for the location we have to choose the onedrive for business as i have saved my excel sheet in my onedrive for business and from the document library i have to choose onedrive as well and from the file section click on the show picker and navigate to the location where you saved your excel file i have saved it on my documents scroll down i have to find the excel sheet attendance sheet excel and as you see we have uh, to choose the table name as you remember the table name was table one let me show you in the excel sheet to show you the table name as you see this is my excel and when you go to the table design you find the table name so this is the table name where it came from now our excel sheet is ready the next step is we have to import data from that excel sheet table to our microsoft list for this click on new step and search for create item so find the site where we saved our list and then choose the the list which we have created earlier and as you see automatically load all the columns inside our microsoft list so as you see this is my microsoft list we have the same column name which we have created in our microsoft list and as i told you be earlier the title is the employee id which is not big deal now we have to map each column inside the microsoft list to the column in the excel sheet so, so employee id to employee and as you see it is automatically changed to apply to each action as it is uh, applies to each rows inside the table so continue to mapping the column names to the column in the excel sheet so do the same for all the columns and if you couldn't find a column name in the excel sheet you have to search for the dynamic content so i will rename this apply to each action as well in order to be easily recognized in the future steps which we will talk about it in the next video for now i will rename it to create items in ms list now our flow is ready to run so let us save it and test to see if it is importing data from excel sheet to our microsoft list so click on test test and run the flow after the flow is run successfully we have all the data from the excel sheet imported to our microsoft list so that's it for this video in the next video we will talk about how to send this data to each employee by email so see you in my next video.